Hello and welcome back to my tutorial series. First, for this particular workflow, we will need a text editor, preferably one that supports coding languages and will let us preview our work. You are free to choose one that works for you, whether that be Notepad or Google Docs, or coding software such as Visual Studio Code or Sublime Text. I personally prefer to use Atom as it's free, easy to use, and we can install libraries to support our GLSL code. To run Atom, we will need to head to their website https.atom.io and download the installer. Check that the website has detected your correct operating system and then press download. Once that has downloaded, you will then need to click on the Atom setup application to install it. You will not need to go through install settings, just let it install and it will launch once done. Before we begin writing our code, we will need to install a library that will help us visually see the language as we write. Simply, certain functions are colour coded making it easier to read our work as well as use the live GLSL preview. We'll open up the settings pane by clicking file settings or by using the shortcut control and comma. You can also access the settings in the welcome guide pane when you first launch Atom. In settings, click on install. Then we'll search for GLSL and we will want to click on the install button for both language GLSL and GLSL preview. And we're done. In the next video, we'll be looking at writing a new GLSL shader in Atom Editor, as well as begin to look at some foundational skills such as using the step function to build a shape, basic compositing and adding in some animation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.